And number eight, we have 2x squared. And this is different from the earlier one. Instead of 2x times 2, this is 2x to the power of 2. And raising something to the power of 2 means multiplying it by itself. So you can think of this as 2x times 2x. And the two, those are all multiplied together. You could think of this as 2 times 2 times x times x, which would give us 4x squared, and that's the answer. There's another way to think about this. When you have something in a group, and everything in that group is multiplied together, so nothing's added in here, these are all factors, and it's squared, that squared, that exponent applies to everything in the group. So it applies to the 2 and to the x. So you could think of this as 2 squared times x squared, which is the same thing, 4x squared. So that's just another way to approach the same problem. And number 9, it's 2x cubed, and you could do the same thing. You could think 2x times 2x times 2x. That's what it means to cube something. Multiply them together for a total of three factors, raising 2x to the power of 3. And you could see if we rearranged this, we, we could have 2 times 2 times 2, which would be 8, and we have the x times the x times the x, which is x cubed. So it's 8x cubed, and that's the answer. Again, thinking of this the other way, we could think this thing in the group, 2x cubed, so the cubed applies to the 2, and it applies to the x. So this would be equal to 2 cubed times x cubed, which is just the same as 8x cubed. So again, another way to think about that problem. Number 10, we have x plus x plus y plus y. Well, x plus x is 2x, and y plus y is 2y. So we have 2x plus 2y. In other words, we can combine the two x's because those are like terms, and we can combine the two y's because those are like terms. But we can't simplify it any further than that. 2x plus 2y, and we're done. Now compare that to number 11. In number 11 here, instead of x plus x plus y plus y, we have x times x times y times y, which is something completely different. The x times x gives us an x squared, and that's multiplied by the y times y, and the y times y is y squared. So this becomes x squared y squared. Number 12, we have 2x cubed times 4x squared. Here's the fastest way to do this. You think the 2 times the 4 is 8, and the x cubed times the x squared is x to the 5th, and you're done. That's the answer, 8x to the 5th. If you need to do an intermediate step, you would do this. You would write it as 2 times 4 times x cubed times x squared. Now you should, of course, know that 2 times 4 is 8. And then x cubed times x squared, we have our 8 times the x cubed, which is x times x times x, and then times the x squared, which is times x times x. And you should see that that's x to the fifth. So you get 8x to the fifth. But you should be able to go from here to here in one step mentally. You should just say the 2 times the 4 gives you the 8 and then the x cubed times the x squared gives you the x to the fifth. And you should recognize that you can do that because you can rearrange these. You can take the 2 and the 4 and put them together. And you can take the x cubed and x squared and put them together because multiplication is commutative. The order doesn't matter. You can rearrange them in your head, do that mentally, and get to the answer in one step. I just wrote these out so you could see the explanation better. Now number 13, 6a plus 4a squared plus 3a. This is an exercise in combining like terms. All of these terms, there are three terms here, they all have a's in them, but they're not all the same. This is an a term, this is an a squared term, and this is an a term. The 6a and the 3a are both a terms. They have exactly the same variable part. So those two terms can be combined. 
that can't be combined with the 4a squared. So we'll combine the 6a and the 3a and we get a 9a and then we still have the 4a squared. So it's 9a plus 4a squared and that's the answer. This is a polynomial though. It has more than one term. That's the definition of a polynomial. And it's ordinary, it's customary, to write the terms in order of decreasing degree. So in other words, this one has a higher degree exponent, the power of 2 right there, where this a is just a power of 1. So we, we write our higher power terms first, 4a squared plus 9a. If you leave your answer like this, it's not incorrect. That's mathematically the same as that. It's just that most people are expecting to read it with the higher power terms first.